Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, hello. Oh. They're Avengers. I was, I was on autopilot. Literally. Catching some Z's on the way to the tower, you know what I mean? Whoa. What a wild nerd theory last night. Five hours. We did a school day of Star Wars content. Talking about Book of Boba Fett. Answering your questions and having a lot of laughs. But consequently, I, I am pretty sleepy. So, this stream's probably going to get a little wild. We got to talk about the finale. The finale. Book of Boba Fett. Can't wait. And we got to sprinkle in some of our favorites thing to make it extra fun. You know what I'm talking about. It's math. I'm pulling into the tower. I'll see you in a second. It has come to this, Nerd Avengers. It has come to this, the book of Boba Fett. Can you believe it? Can you believe it's the last week for Book of Boba Fett, man? Pretty crazy stuff. Pretty wild. I've been having a blast with the show. I've especially been having a blast watching this show and doing these kind of streams with all of you. It's been really, really fun uh, over the course of the last uh, six or seven weeks. And uh, uh, I'm overall satisfied, incredibly satisfied, actually, with the show. And I think this finale is going to be straight fire. And I can't wait. Uh, a couple of things that I want to sort of say uh, right off the bat. Oh, man, I got to hang on. I got to pull this up for you guys. Give me just a second here. Uh, I do want to say, of course, yes, last night, absolutely epic nerd theory. One for the books. Uh, and there is a there is a clip going around uh, about something that happened. La oh, member chat set up. Thank you for that. Actually, I appreciate that. Let me get that set up right now. Uh, there was a clip going around about something that happened last night on the stream, and man, it is one of the funniest. I I have never lost it on stream like that. Uh, but I can't, here's the thing, I can't watch the clip. I literally, guys, I liter literally, literally, not, not an exaggeration. I cannot watch that clip without crying, without laughing so hard I cry. Like, I literally can't do it. And I'm the one that's laughing in the clip. It's a, it's a bad look, dude. It's a, it, it, I can't, I, it is so funny. And I think it was a nerd venture that, that made the clip anyway. Uh, <laughs> man, yeah, it was really, really funny. Uh, so I will tweet it out at some point today. If you, if you don't know where the clip is, they've got it on discord. Uh, people can probably put it into the chat and all that. So it was like, it's one for the books, man. I do want to also say thank you to everybody that made this an absolutely hilarious goof yesterday. Uh, I told Theory before we went live that I had a surprise for him. And, uh, you know, we do have the shirt. It's actually available. It is literally available if you go to thedenofnerdsmerch.com. It is a Luke Soka shirt. You know, the goof that, for whatever reason... Lasted all the way up to this episode where it seemed to be codified, if you will, by the, the tension between these two destined lovers. Uh, and, oh, man, it's just it was such a fun uh, like theory reacted perfectly. And it was it was really, really uh, a good time. So uh, check that merch out if you're if you're interested. It literally says on here, too. You know, not to be too petty or whatever, but it says it literally says triggering Star Wars theory since 2022. So 
Make sure you check that out. I also want to say, in the middle of all of this uh, Star Wars fun, I did record another episode of the Den of Nerds podcast. It was a very fun episode. I sat down with Matt Ramos, a.k.a. Soups. Look, this kid is, and, and I say kid, but I, I mean that enduring, and it's just because I feel like like old, right? But this dude is killing the game. Killing the game, blowing up, going to red carpet events, interviewing uh, celebrities, getting deals with uh, the Miami Heat. You know, he's making major moves, man. And, he, and I really respect and admire his hustle and the energy he brings. And it was a really fun podcast interview. You can check that out on Spotify, on Apple. And it's called The Den of Nerds Podcast. And I think, honestly, the podcast has been good. You know, we've had... This will be episode six, and I think literally we've every single one we've done has been pretty fire, and I think that uh, the ones that we'll do in the future will be really fun as well. So uh, just kind of wanted to point those things out before we get into the meat and the potatoes or potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew uh, of this stream. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. I know. Oh, man. One more thing. Uh, Y'all's gots to. Gots to. Check out the video, which we'll drop later today. I'll drop it about like when I get out of this stream, so probably around noon. Um, it's our preview video for this episode. Okay, now normally we like to drop those on Monday. Uh, we were working with just Fernie Nerdvenger. Uh, he's helping us out with some editing, and uh, it just kind of I didn't get the stuff to him in time, and, and it ran late. So it'll be dropping today. But let me just tell you this. Let me just tell you this. It is a hilarious edit. He absolutely crushed it on the edit. Uh, and so I'll, I will drop that later today. And I urge everybody to go check it out. He put some really, really funny stuff in there. I had a lot of fun recording the video. Uh, so it's going to be a good time. Check that out. Okay. All right. Order in the tower. Let's talk about this. I, I want to start with a really simple, like really simple. By the way, I see the Super Chats. I really appreciate the support. I will get into the Q&A at the end of the stream. Uh, so I'll go over those at the end of the stream. And this pizzle rat her. Okay. Here's the main thing that I want to start with as we sort of start a discussion today about the finale of the book of Boba Fett. And I know we're gonna we're gonna do some math. We're gonna uh, do some over unders, but let's start with a simple question, just to get a temperature. I want to know what you guys think. Will Boba be Baidas in this episode? I want to know what you think. I think this is a central question. As far as how many fans will react to this show, this episode, but in general, the show it, in it, itself, the whole, the, the entirety, the whole thing, the show, you know, you know what a show is? Do you think he's going to be bad ace? Are we going to get Chad Fett? The return of Chad Fett? Chad Fett versus Chad Bane? Or is it going to be bad Fett? What do you think? I mean, what do you expect? You know, I mean, one on the one hand, it's like, yeah, no, this is what we want. But what do you expect? What do you think? It looks like 86% of you and it's, you know, it's a little early uh, in the in the poll, but 86% of you say yes. I agree. I go over this a little bit in the video. There's some evidence to suggest that Bo is about to go crazy in this last episode. I also think it would it would be a mistake if they didn't have him in all his glory in his own show for the finale. You know what I mean? This show, I think we're going to have to look back at it and be like, okay, it's kind of strange. By the way, oh, man, let me just say this because I want to show this because it's so cool, man. It's so cool. It's so radical, bro. Oh, man, check this out. Is this the official poster? 
for the show. And I mean, do you? You know, it's that classic Star Wars thing of like, put everything on there. You know, just you got to kind of get over that. It's kind of like a Star Wars thing. It's not necessarily aesthetically pleasing. However, you know, once you get past that, damn, this is badass, dude. It's got Din Djarin front and center, little Grogu on his foot, Boba up here, Fennec, Ahsoka. They just put Ahsoka right out there. Luke right out there. Kersantin, the biker gang, the twins, Cad Bane. Whoo. That's a pretty dope poster. But, I mean, look at this. Like, it kind of makes the point, right? Like, 80 to 90% of this poster is not Boba Fett. You know what I mean? It's cool. Like I, I like the poster. I generally speaking like the show. But I think you need to get... Like, Boba needs to do some badass stuff, man. And, and I hope for Boba Fett fans that he goes hard. I hope for Tamor Tamara Morrison. I hope he goes hard. Uh... And I think we're I think most people are expecting him to go pretty hard. And that I think is reflected in the poll results that we currently have. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to start there because I, I thought that would probably be the case, but sometimes you guys are shocking in the uh the things that you uh think and believe about it. Next one. Now we're gonna start to get into some math. Get your get your brain parts working. Get your brain parts warmed up okay over under 80% chance oh, I almost did unker again literally uh over under 80% chance that boba rides the rancor get out your calculators Get out your tangent cosines. Get out your bean counter. Jung 3 boj friend of the channel, says, Han shows up running from Thrawn. Well, let me just tell you, if that if that happens, Jay, if that actually happens, I'm going to pretend that I called that and say that out there online. By the way, Jay, did you catch any of that uh, nerd theory last night? That was hilarious, man. You gotta, you gotta see this clip when I, when I uh, tweet it later. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. Okay. Rancor's gonna ride Boba. What? What is going on? Come on, hey. We gotta wait for the three to four hour mark before the stream starts getting that wild. Okay, we had a normal ass nerd theory stream and then like started just, oh shit, you know? So we started like, it's like my brain started to come out of my nose, bro. So I don't want to hear no, like it's not, it's too, it's too early for that. Okay, uh, let's see here. Over, d hot damn, look at this. Wayo. You know, maybe it's too early to call this, but I'm getting a feeling that Everybody's starting to feel like they can love again. That they can hope for hype in Star Wars. And that's kind of exciting. 85% of you say it's over 80% chance that Boba rides the Rancor. Let's go. I want me a Rancor riding Boba. I tell you, I want me a Rancor riding Boba. And I want the toy. Oh, I know. Childish, I know. Fanboy, I know. And no, before you ask, it's not for the kid. In fact, the kid can't even touch it. It's for me. I want my Boba on a Rancor. And I want it now. And I also want to see him, like, run past some dudes and, like, flamethrow them, you know, and have some of the pikes just be... You know what else is... Like, total side note, and now I'm starting to get loopy. So it's, it's going to get weird from here. Um, do you know what is so fun about the Pike design? Oh man, Just, as I'm saying this in my brain, I'm like, don't say it. Don't say it. Uh, I'm just gonna say it. They look like the perfect kind of like characters to like squeal and scream as they're being like burnt or alive or blasted. Something about the, te the tentacle face. 
Like, I don't know. It just seems hilarious to be like, ah! You know? <laughs> like, anyway, um, I would love to see some stuff like that, man. Boba riding around going hard. Going hard in the paint. Be pretty funny. Pretty cool. Uh, anyways, moving right along. I told you it was going to get weird. Okay. So we're all on the same page about that. That's good. That's good. It's good to be on the same page. Um, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Over, under, 60% chance of Cad Bane versus Boba Fett showdown, showdown, showdown. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I gotta adjust the camera again. It's being real dumb. <sighs> okay. Um. Yeah. So let's talk about this. Whoa. Whoa. Look at this. 90% of you out the gate. It's not, I mean, it's obviously not, uh, it's a little early in the poll. Let's see. But that's it. That is a lot. A lot of you guys think it's, it's likely to, to, to have a Cad Bane versus Boba. Man, I gotta say, I'm just excited. I'm excited that, uh, that we seem to be on the same page and that we're all anticipating some really, really fun shit. Let's go. On that point, I think it's pretty obvious that it's it's being set up. I mean, why else bring Cad Bane in? Do you know what I mean? And he was also slipped into Bad Batch. And look, you know, again, uh, probably nothing, but they are introducing little elements even from bad batch that are connecting to book of boba fett a lot of connective tissue so it's like yeah if they bring him in and it seemed like he had that metal thing on his head there's obviously the classic scene that was that uh you know animated clone war scene that never got finished the way he called him a cold-blooded killer i thought was dope so yeah man it's it's i think it's heading into that you know what i'm really interested in is like how is that going to go down is it going to be one of these things where they uh, meet each other, uh, you know, from across the battlefield and like everything just tends to separate out in like a, a way that, you know, you've seen those that thing in movies, right? Where it's like, oh, the two dudes got to fight in the middle, you know what I mean? Like, oh, shit. Uh, and everybody just kind of stands around and watches. Will it end up being like a gunfight behind uh, some objects where they're like, you know, I'm thinking in terms of like Westerns and stuff like that. You know, bam, 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 like a lot of shots with like different cover fire and stuff like that. Um, is it going to be a weird actual draw kind of drawdown situation? I don't know, but uh, I think it's going to happen, you know, and I also expect Cad Bane to to be doing some Cad Bane stuff, you know, like I, I, I really hope he lets loose. And even though he walked really, really slowly in this episode, I think they could still hopefully do some sort of fluid motions with him and really make him uh, do some crazy action, you know, be, be super fun. Okay, so we're, we're kind of on the, uh, the same page about that one. That's pretty cool. Let's talk about episode length over under 45 minutes for the finale. I think we'll probably all be on the same page here, but just in the name of being consistent with everything we've done for the past seven weeks, vote your conscience. What do you think? Over or under 45 minutes for this episode? Let me know what you think. And also, 
Can somebody point out to me if there is a legitimate rumor about the show being shorter or longer? You know, there were some people last night in Nerd Theory that were like, bro, somebody said it's going to be like 20 minutes. You know, some other people were like, bro, it's going to be an hour and a half, bro. So I'm just wondering if any of that stuff is real. Yeah, I'm wondering if any of that's real. Let me know. What do you think? Wow, look at this. The consensus was that it was 38 minutes. That's probably what happened. That's what... Okay, so that comes from IMDB. Interesting. Santos said longer than usual. Ooh, okay. I like that. I'm going to try to get VV pulled up. See if I can get this Luke Cage drop. Pretty... I, I mean, I think this... You know, the block, uh, you know all you guys are going to get super triggered or whatever. But, like, the idea of getting Luke Cage's first appearance, Black History Month, NFT, I'm in. I'm in. Oh, man. And that secret rare looks pretty nice i'm in dude sweet christmas let's get it um okay so conflicting reports episode length uh 90 of you guys that voted say over i am in the over camp as well um yeah let's uh let's let's dig in man you know and, and i think too like if you're gonna do combat and it's gonna be this crazy gunfight dude Take your time. Make this thing epic. I don't want it to be rushed. The gunfight at the end of Mando Season 1 was really good. Doesn't it sort of take place over the course of two uh, episodes? Like, I just remember that feeling like that's a really nice way to do something like that. And it really is very Western. You know, they're 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 held out in the saloon, you know, with everybody outside. A ton, tons of different uh, gun hands there. So... I, I hope and expect the episode will be pretty lengthy. If it's around 45 minutes, I'm not going to complain. If it's under 45 minutes, it's, it's, that's not a good way to start your watch party experience. You know what I mean? It's not a great way to start because you're going to look at that length and it is going to bum you out a little bit, you know? So uh, if, they, hey, if they push it to the limit, like, let's go. If it's over an hour, I might cry before we watch it. I'm a, if it's over an hour, I might just stare out the window. <laughs> I'm so happy. Like some shit like that. Like for real, for real. That that would be that would be very cool if that ended up happening. So we'll see uh, again, though, we are on the same page so far. Let's see where we're at with this next one. Over under 85% chance that Luke and Grogu show up in the finale. What do you think? What do you, what do you, what do you think? And while we're uh, getting that set up, I do want to say. Oh, crap. I don't know where the one is. I believe there is another IG-88 that we have to give away, but I think I already took it out into the living room and put it in a box on accident. Uh, but we're also going to be giving away one of these Funko Pop five-piece Bad Batch sets. To somebody in the stream later today. You, it will cost you a little bit of nerd coin to enter. But oh, baby, baby. We're going to give this away. We've been having fun. Oh, snap, Vivi. Okay, we're good. Um... Yeah, so, and by the way, we do have everything boxed up pretty much ready to go. Um, and it should ship out either today or tomorrow for everybody. So, I know we're a little bit behind on stuff. I do apologize. Got about 30 seconds on this jam. Ooh, 69%. That's a good number. So, this one's a little bit more split. Maybe it's just the percentages. Maybe it's just the percentages. Or maybe we just can't. We just can't imagine they would do more and more Luke. I'll talk about it in just a second. Here we got 10 seconds. Nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Huh? I can't wait till they go to the new system. I can't wait to actually maybe be able to get drops again. That That's going to be so cute. Um, okay, let's talk about Luke and Grogu. Some of you guys are not so convinced that he's got... You got one? All right, look, give it to me. Just give it to me. And if anybody gets that... Uh, if anybody gets that secret rare, give it to me. Just give it to me. Jareth got one? Yeah, give it to me. <clears throat> anyway. Okay, so... By the way, is low lives in here? We need to find low lives. If we see low lives in the chat, I need one of the mods to like hit him up. I need his info. Okay. So some of you guys, I think the, the, the feeling is that he will still not be in this episode, that they'll save that maybe for Mando 3 Season 1. That's actually possible. There's no guarantee that Luke will be in this episode. It is possible that he will sh do, you know, show up at some point in Mando season three. And if he doesn't show up, we can assume that Grogu picked the saber. I understand that rationale, but here's the thing, man. I think if you kind of like just look at the sort of pattern that the show is establishing, it's obvious that they did what they did at the end of episode six to set up a way by which Luke gets to the finale. In some ways, it feels like reverse engineering how Luke could get to the finale. And yes, I do believe, personally, that Luke will show up in this episode with Grogu. And that Grogu will be placed back into the care of Din Djarin so that we can start season three with them together. Okay? That is that is just an opinion. I don't know for sure. But... That's that's what I think. Now, again, it is possible they save that for Mando Season 3. And if they do this in Boba, it literally means, ladies and gentlemen, and this, this is just facts. Like, I don't know. You're going to have to feel about it how you feel about it. But this is straight facts. It will literally mean they did a cliffhanger in a, in a big show that was then sort of essentially wiped out by an arc in a spinoff show so that essentially if all you were watching was the main show grogu's just back with him after that and you're like what do you know what i mean so i don't know we're gonna have to talk about that if that happens after it happens but i do think that it will happen okay so we're a little bit we're a little bit mixed on that one and that is cool that is fine i understand um here's one and let's just assume with this one we're just gonna actually do a yes or no on this one Let's just assume that Luke does show up, okay? So let's let's say he does for the sake of this poll. Will Luke join the fight? That's, uh, I think, a little bit even debatable, even if we assume he will show up, you know? And we, and we talked about this last night on Nerd Theory as well. We don't know. You know, we don't know. Would love to know what you guys think. Luke will not show up, says Tanak. Okay. Grogu's already a master. He just wanted to walk away from it. Maybe. Maybe, Peter. I like the summer camp idea. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Cool. I don't want Luke to save the day all the time, says Star Wars 95. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Wow, the vast majority of you guys say no. Damn. Damn. That's interesting. I'm kind of leaning towards him not joining the fight, but... I don't know. They're walking this like really thin line of like using Luke really well, but sparingly. And then I think there's some trepidation from fans of like, don't do it. Don't go too crazy. Don't make him, you know, rip off his shirt and be jacked to the nines and be constantly like c cutting up all the pikes. And then it's just over. And he, he, he sort of drop kicks Boba off the rancor. And he says, I am the master now. And he wears, he rides the rancor around. And it's just like, you know, whatever. Like, yeah, 
Uh, okay, yes, that would be um, a little too much, and also amazing. So I could see John and Dave being like, let's let's let you know, let's let them ha- come in and, uh, later on in the show. Let them come in later on in the show. Okay, now let's go to Rumorville, USA. We're going to Rumorville City. It's time to get in to the weird ones. The weird ones. Over, under. 33% chance that Han Solo shows up. What do you think? I'm going to sip some coffee while you decide. Wow. 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 I'm kind of interested here. This is kind of an interesting take so far. It's pretty split. Where do you get these percentages? Oh, we have a, a very expensive AI here at the tower, at Nerd Ventures Tower. And uh, it is constantly monitoring uh, a ton of different things. It's, it's like an algorithm. I can't really explain it. It it's costs an absurd amount of money. And uh, it shoots out these percentages at us. So, you know, mathematically, these are the best percentages you've ever percented in. Think about it. Think about it. So essentially, guys, where we're at right here with this poll is that about half of you think it's less than a 33% chance that Han shows up. That's kind of interesting. I bet many of you think of it about 50%. I saw like some of that in the chat and everything like, okay, it's about 50%. You know, maybe, maybe not. I don't really know what to say about this one. I mean, I remember covering it a couple of weeks before the show came out. And we were like, yeah, this is like very unlikely, you know, but it's something that's sort of being reported out there. It's it's in the it's in the ether. And I believe it was the sun in the UK, which apparently is not a reliable tabloid at all. But they reported that uh, Harrison Ford would come over or did come over rather and do some shooting some scenes uh, for a book of Boba Fett. I don't know what to expect, man. I mean, I think here's 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 where my mind is at with this. I wonder if it's good enough, you know, because I could see John and Dave, especially with them wanting to bring Luke back the way that they did. I could see it being a discussion about bringing back the OG crew, Leia Han, Luke and more and more. Right. But I wonder if maybe they shot some stuff, they tried, and they just said, you yeah, know, we're not quite there yet. We're not to the level of where we're at with Luke Skywalker. Let's cut it. Let's let's wait. Let's keep trying, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So even if there was maybe uh some footage or some shooting or something like that that happened, there's no guarantee that it's in there. However, I can't help but think that John and Dave absolutely want to deliver a just punch to the heart of Star Wars fans. I think that what they did with Mando Season 2 legitimately broke the internet. It was an incredible time for Star Wars. And it's again, it's just so crazy that they can do that with a Disney Plus show uh, to just break the internet, right? But it did. It was crazy. And six in Boba is incredible. It's really special. I've revisited it a lot. I really like the episode. But this is the finale, and you got to leave them wanting more and also with, with that kind of a punch. John knows this. So I could see it happening, and if it does happen, it's and it's awesome. I mean, it's just like it's a slow clap. It's tears. It's like, holy shit. It's... 
It's everything we're we're wanting and more, far exceeded my expectations. If they can bring back Han Solo in this time period, make it believable, and have him interact with Luke Skywalker, I don't I don't know. I I will have to form words and make syllables go together with punctuation and capitalization. You know, fucking subject predicate shit. You know, like I I don't know. I don't know what that'll do to me. You know? I don't know. So we'll see. I, I Again, with this one, I really don't know what to think. There's not a lot of evidence. Like the N1, the Nabu Star Cruiser, I was far more confident in that. And I wasn't even that confident in it. I was just like, okay, I can see how these reports fit together to mean this. With Book of Boba Fett, there's really no good reports. It's all like real hush-hush rumor type stuff, you know? So, maybe. You know? Maybe. Jay thinks, by the way, that Han will be in it. Jay definitely thinks that. So we'll see. Maybe, maybe he's right. Maybe he's onto something. Last maths of the day. Look at the look at it blur when I shake the camera and stuff now. That's weird. Last maths of the day, and I'm really interested in what you guys think here. Over under twenty percent chance that Kira shows up. I need a Luke Soka shirt. Go to the Den of Nerds merch dot com and get it. And get it. Such a low percentage. I know. I know. <sighs> yeah. Do you do autographs? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Probably. Thank you, punk nerd. 69% of you say it's over. Okay, so here's what I... here's You guys are like, well, what's up with these numbers? These numbers, hey, you're pulling all over. Here's the point. Here's what I'm trying to say. About 30% of you guys, about a third, about one in three of you, thinks there's basically no way that Kira shows up. Okay, so that's the point. That's the point. That's what I'm trying to explain with these percentages. I'm trying to stack it in, put it in a way that... Uh, Makes you kind of understand and realize that. And I think probably many of you that said over 20%, you don't necessarily think it's a really, really good chance. Um, I actually do think Kira will show up. And, and it's strange because it will kind of seem almost like out of nowhere in some ways. But uh, I, I think that that tease, that musical tease was real. And I do think that uh, you're going to get Amelia Clark is Kira in the finale. Now that I don't know for sure, but uh, I feel strongly that that will be the case, and that they will be setting her up to play more of a role during this time period in the Filoni verse. Uh, and I'm here for it, dude. I I, I like Amelia Clark. I I like the Kira character. I did not like Solo, uh, a move as the movie. You know what I mean? But I like the character. I do. So it's one of those situations where very similar to, um, you know, my feelings on the sequel trilogy. I don't like those movies, uh, but I don't hate the characters. You know, Finn is cool. Poe is cool. Ray is I. So, uh, you know, get some of that kind of stuff going on. And I'd personally be here for it. I think Kira would elevate the show, do some really interesting things. And solo fans would be really, really excited about it, too. So it's kind of wild. But I'm calling it a yes, ladies and gentle beings. I'm calling it a yes. Kira will be in the show. What about a Thrawn tease? Oh, man, I'd love it. I'd love it. I, I don't 
know about a Throntes, maybe my feelings on this are honestly that if we were going to get a Throntes, it would have been in episode six with Ahsoka. Um, but maybe, maybe you get one of those uh, going on in the finale. That would be really, really fun. Uh, I also wonder if there'll be a post credit scene when it comes to Book of Boba Fett, Episode 7. But uh, generally speaking, guys, I expect this episode to be straight fire. Straight fire. So now let's do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. We'll start with the IG-88. Which I don't actually have on me. I like to usually have them on me to, to show off and be like, look at this cool thing. But it's, uh, actually, I'll go get it. Give me a second here. Give me a second here, everybody. Chill, chill, chill out. Chill out from Batman and Robin. Come on. Classic. Okay. First thing I need to do is give 2,000 nerd coin to everybody that's watching right now. Boom. 2,000 nerd coin. It's yours. Claim it. I'll be right back. Here it is. The IG-88. And uh, there ain't no way this dude's showing up, but if he does, I'm going to golf clap. I'm just going to golf clap the entire time. That would be wild. Okay, here we go. Boom. You may now enter DOS giveaway. It's 2,000 nerd coin uh, for a ticket, and you can enter up to 10 times. And we'll free shipping in the U.S. only. I'm sorry. But shipping is crazy. I don't even understand it. But it's ridiculous. Even shipping just over to Canada, which is like, I live so much more close to Canada than like arguably almost any other place in the United States. I live closer to Canada than I do to New York, than I do to Pittsburgh, than I do to Philly. I live right across. I get Canadian radio stations. Do you know what I mean? Do you guys know what radio is? Do you young whippersnappers out there know what radio is what do you what do you what do you think and yeah it's gonna it cost me an arm and a leg to uh to ship to canada it's crazy <sighs> matei i see you baby i'll go over that in just a second i appreciate you i appreciate you man that clip from last night's Nerd Theory, I shared that with my friends. I sh I'm going to share that on Twitter. It is literally one of the funniest clips I've ever seen. And it, I don't know. Maybe I'm biased because it's me in theory, but it's just it's the perfect clip between us. Where, like, he doesn't notice it. You know, I'm, I cannot, dude. I just can't. And I'm cracking up, dude. Um, wow, what a perfect clip. And then when he realizes it, he's just like, oh. Oh. Oh, did I give you a little plumber's butt there? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When I stream for five hours the night before, sometimes I can't find my belt in the morning. Steve. Sheesh. Sheesh. Got about 50 seconds left, guys. If you want a chance to enter... You got to get it done in the next 40 seconds. You got 40 seconds to figure it out. And if you don't figure it out, you'll miss out from this opportunity forever. You're going to miss out. Don't miss out. About 25 seconds, guys. Oh, man. 
It's going to be so cool doing it. I mean, how crazy. Oh, man. This is going to be so wild. Like, I can't believe the finale's here. I can't believe it's here. Mm. It's going to be a good watch party, man. I think the Star Wars fandom is going to be super fun. We'll probably have dope streams throughout the week. Just a reminder, no stream tomorrow morning. Uh, I will do a Nerdvengers only stream tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. So come on back for that. A lot of fun stuff. A uh, lot of fun stuff. We'll probably gush about the finale and whatnot. And then Thursday morning, we'll talk about, you know, spoilers and some relevant stuff. And to be honest with you guys, I'm kind of really liking uh, the the streaming flow that we have right now, where it's like Monday and Tuesday mornings, you know, and then we do the watch party, Wednesday morning off, evening stream with the Nerd Ventures, just chilling, and then Thursday, Friday, closing it out strong. Uh, I really feel like the streams have been really good because I'm able to be fresh uh, and to just be topical, you know what I mean? Bad Doodle! My man, Bad Doodle, you are the winner, my friend. You get you get this here, IG88. Love it. You love to see it. Congratulations, Bad Doodle. Congratulations. Hit me up on uh, Twitter. Hit me up on Discord uh, with your contact info. Hit me up. Okay. Complete that one. Okay, now this one is going to be a pricey giveaway. And by the way, I am going to be giving out a lot more nerd coin. I, I think we've reached a point where there was a point where we had too much. Like everybody just had way too much nerd coin. And I was like, oh man, like that's crazy. But I think we've we've made some changes to how we do this. Pet match. Funko pack. Uh, and I, I think we might now have to adjust back a little bit to giving away more coin. I feel like we've actually gone a little bit the other way. Where now there's not enough coin in circulation and people feel like they've they don't have enough. So uh yeah, we'll 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 figure that out. On that note. Here's 4,000. Oh my God, I almost did 40,000 on accident. Here's 4,000 nerd coin to everybody who's watching right now. Hopefully, it goes through to you via the cloud. And then let's start this giveaway right now. Hunter, Wrecker, Tech, Crosshair, and Echo. And they look freaking awesome, dude. Man, they look great. They really do. Super fun. I feel like I'm going to have to go buy one of these for me. Because I bought two and gave them both away. But uh, what a nice set, too. Looks really cool. So, 4,000 per entry. You can enter up to 10 times. If you won't. And then uh, after this, guys, we will get into q and I'll get into all the messages, all the member chats, and we'll just hang out. We'll just hang out, uh, see what you guys want to talk about, talk about the episode, and just bask in the sort of glory, in the glory of Disney Star Wars. I can't believe it. I, can't, I actually can't believe the words coming out of my mouth. Bask in the glory of Disney Star Wars right now. I can't believe it. It feels really cool. Feels good. Feels good. Oh, and I should mention too, I want to mention this. We will be doing a Super Bowl stream. That's right. We're gonna do it. It's been a it's hey, it's been a crazy week of streaming, and it's not even midweek yet. But it just is one of those weeks. Sunday at kickoff for the big game. I will be in Nerdvengers Tower. We will be watching the football game together, giving commentary on the game. That's right. Sports ball commentary. The white jerseys are running around. It appears as though they have some kind of a game plan. Oh, he's got the football on first base. 
Referees have called a foul. That kind of shit. Um, we'll be giving commentary on the game, and we will be watching the commercials together. We're, we are going to have to dance to the raindrops a little bit with copyright stuff. If the commercial has, like, really popular music, we might have to, like, you know, chill it, pause it, or whatever. I know not everybody will be available for that stream. That's cool. Uh, a lot of people maybe have plans or going to parties or something like that. I'm just going to sit here with a big pile of chicken wings, and I'm going to watch the Super Bowl with all y'all. Because the reality is, I would have to watch it and be ready to work anyways, because I do think we're going to get some cool trailers. So I'd prefer to do it with y'all anyways. So if you're going to be uh, doing all that kind of stuff, check it out on Sunday. The Lord of the Rings appears to be having a trailer. I think you'll get maybe some Moon Knight, some Doctor Strange, some stuff like that. So it'll be fun. It'll be real fun. Let's go Cincinnati. Let's go Cincinnati. AFC North represent. That's what I'm about. That is what I am about. Okay, let's pick a winner. Let's figure out who wins the five-set Funko Bad Badge thingy. Okay, hang on. I clicked it, but it didn't do anything for me. Okay, S dot G. S dot G. You are the winner. You have won. The Bad Batch! Let's go. Let us go. Okay, give me just a second. Huh? Right, let me get this pulled up over here. Make sure that it's good over here. Okay, it looks good. Let's scroll up. Okay, let's get into the Super Chats, ladies and gentlemen. I do want to say that, of course, Super Chats uh, help us out, support the channel, keep the lights on here at Nerdvengers Tower. Really appreciate all the support that you can give if you can give it. We'll read every single Super Chat within reason that comes in. I also want to say this stream and all the content over here brought to you by the Nerd Vengers, the lovely people you see in chat with a badge next to their name, spamming the super cool emojis, tons of benefits for the Nerd Vengers, the emojis, the badge, behind the scene streams, 20% off our Teespring merchandise, ton of fun benefits, and some weirdly reported kind of crazy, uh, you know, I don't know, superpowers, you know, like, you're gonna... You know, learn to fly. Uh, your fi your finances are in order. It, it cures you of everything that ails you. Your depression goes away. Uh, ladies, you uh, start to to call you and stuff. You, you get a better KD in video games. Just go on and on. It's like a fucking genie's lamp. Okay, my lawyers don't like it when I say this, but it will literally change your entire life. It'll turn everything around for you. It'll be the greatest decision you've ever made. And if every human being became a nerd venture, the world would have peace. Results may vary, not financial advice. I'm not a doctor. Don't sue me, bro. <clears throat> okay. So thank you, Nerd Avengers. Here we go. Let's get into Q&A. First in today was Amber with a very generous $20 holla says, been thinking a lot lately about how Filoni might be as much of a legend as Feige, purely based on the fact that he gives fans what they want when they think they're getting nothing. So happy to be loving Star Wars again. I totally understand uh, where you're coming from, from that. And Dave is certainly a very special, unique uh, creator. You know what I mean? I, I don't think he's a producer at the level of Feige, and what Feige has done is, is very, very different. And Feige, you know, sort of learned... He, he's a Hollywood guy. Like, like, Feige, as much as we love him, and he is a big, sweaty nerd, he's Hollywood. More Hollywood than Dave. Like, Dave's a Pittsburgh dude, man. You know what I mean? Like, Dave, Dave's, Dave's a yinzer. You know what I mean? And he's a little more California these days, but like he's uh, he didn't like grow up in that world, which actually is one of the reasons why. And I know some people get triggered by this, but it's one of the reasons why we owe Kathy Kennedy uh, a great debt, uh, because she did help bridge that gap for him and get a little bit of the Hollywood folks to take Dave more seriously. And I also think Dave, by his own merits, with all he's accomplished with those animated programs, uh, 
you know, has has paved his own path. He's definitely a legend. He's he's I don't think he's quite at the level of like a Kevin Feige, but I understand where you're coming from for sure, Amber, and I appreciate the support. Patrick says, Well, I thought the movie was good. I really don't think Dune uh for Spider Man was up to the best picture Oscar level. Do you think Dune got all the nominations to Pease Nerd folks? Or did or does it really deserve all the praise? Moss Moss, where are you at? Hey Moss Moss, where are you at? About to shit all over your favorite movie. No, I'm just kidding. Uh I <sighs> Alright, here's my take. I think that the Oscars and the Academy, I think they really and truly cannot admit what cinema entertainment and mostly attention is nowadays. The Oscars have been declining in popularity steadily and rapidly uh, over the past couple of years. It's just not it anymore. Actors are out of touch. A lot, in a lot of ways, Hollywood relevancy is 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 over, and is it, we're moving past it. Um, nominating Dennis uh, and his movie makes sense. It's a good movie. It's really artistic. I really enjoyed Dune as much as I don't enjoy Dennis as a person. And uh, yeah, uh, really, really good work, and the movie's great. So it's not like a Dune over Spider Man thing. Although maybe like because he spoke so much against comic book movies and stuff like that, you could sort of make that connection. I think just they're two separate things. The Academy cannot admit that Spider-Man No Way Home in a lot of ways saved cinema and is really what cinema is and should be about. You know, I tweeted, I was like, man, I I have not had a theater experience like that in a long time. No Way Home uh, affected me in a way that a lot of movies don't. And that magic of cinema and happening then and there. Yeah, it would have been cool for the Academy to acknowledge that a little bit more, I think. I think a Best Picture nomination would have been great. And they don't have to, like, pick it. But just nominating it would have been a massive big deal. Uh, Patrick, I appreciate the support. Lone Wolf Gaming, $2 holla, no message. Jonas says nothing with a $10 holla. Appreciate that. Uh, MCU Drew says, over under 45%. Boba makes a cameo. Over, bro. We're getting Chad Fett. The return of Chad Fett. Alpha Fett. Let's go. Uh, Juan Xander. Welcome to the Nerdvengers. You are a Nerdvenger now. Appreciate the support. Make your way around the tower. Feel the power of the Nerdvengers within you. Vincent. Member for three months says, and I got to move this. What do you slash Chad think will do the music for Kenobi? Is Ludwig better for the more Western shows, or is Ludwig the go-to composer for Disney Plus shows for now on? So, Vincent, he actually didn't compose. He didn't score this show. He composed the themes, and a lot of the themes get brought into this show. But but Ludwig did not actually do all of the music for this show. It was a different gentleman that took lead on that. Uh, but I like Ludwig. Yeah, give Ludwig Kenobi for sure. Um, the guy that did a lot of this stuff with Dave, uh, even like for Rebels and stuff, I think he's incredible too. Even the guy that did uh, Rogue One, he's incredible too. So there's there's a lot of great composers out there that could pick up, you know, that task. Nuck and Futz 197 says, Do the Pikes seem like pushovers in Book of Boba Fett? I rewatched Bad Batch recently and the Pikes were feared. You do not cross. The Pikes, it, they do feel a little, uh, I don't know, watered down in some ways. It could just be the context of the show, what's going on. But yeah, they seem they seem soft a little, you know? And I agree, they were a little bit more badass before. But uh, who knows for sure if that's an intentional decision or if it just kind of worked itself out that way. Uh, Shiloh says, over under theory cries. I don't know, man. I, I think if anything, if he was going to have that kind of reaction, it maybe would have happened last week. <laughs> Um, maybe with Han, Leia, and Luke together, if it's really emotional and like the theme swells, I mean, maybe. But uh, yeah, I mean, we should want that, right? Because it would mean most of us are having that kind of emotional reaction as well. Connor says, episode one, 38 minutes. That's why it says this episode is 38 minutes for now. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't expect it to be 38 minutes. I, I think it'll be 
I think it'll be uh, bigger, but who knows for sure. Who knows for sure. Patrick follows up. $10 holla. Very generous man. Says, could it be possible that Han Chewie take Grogu to Tatooine? And we see of Luke is Grogu's choice. And he's back as the Falcon flies away. Meaning Han and Chewie join the fight rather than Luke. Uh, it's possible, but I would be irritated by that, actually. Because I feel like that's just like... Like, there's not doing a thing because it feels like it's a little too much. Then there's dancing around a thing because you don't want to do it for whatever reason. Like, you anticipate it to be cliche or something. That would actually upset me a little bit. But it's possible. I don't know. I think there's just a lot that we, we don't know when it comes to this. And again, we're dropping my preview video later, dude. Ooh, it's a, it's a very fun video. I think you'll like it. Jordan says, Solo will come out. Bob's won't be upset. He'll say, it's just business. He's referenced that kind of three separate times. No hard feelings. Yeah, I agree. I think that's probably what's going to go down, for sure. Post-credit Kira with redhead assassin Mara Jade. That'd be kind of cool, Mike. I don't know. I need to keep the coffee flowing. Otherwise, I'm going to pass out, you know. Big Stevie W. Member for 17 months. Holy crap, man. Thanks for all that support. Says Kira will be in it fighting for the pikes until she sees the Falcon show up and Han gets off. Then she'll flip on the pikes due to her feelings for him. Maybe. I think Kira's kind of cold, bro. I think Kira's kind of a cold lady. So I don't know if she's just going to be like, oh, Han. But uh, it would be cool to tease that relationship and to play off of it a little bit. I don't think she's that kind of gal, man. You know, Shiloh says, what about a Thrawn tease? It would be cool, man. I just, I, I don't know. I don't really see a lot of narrative uh, things pointing at that. Ooh. Sheev the Wise says with a $10 holla, over under Cad Bane versus Boba in flashback and a rematch now. Going to be wild final episode. Happy to have you feeling uh, bitty. About Star Wars again, bet like better, good about Star Wars. Uh, Favroni verse for the win, sending love, brother. Hey, thanks very much, appreciate that. Uh, flashback and in the present, wow, that'd be cool. That would be really cool. I'd be, uh, I'd be into it. Matei, member for eight months, says eight months of giving money to a nerd who pisses me off every other stream. Smack my head. Much love, Josh. Love this community and these streams. Take my money. Well, hey, man, I really appreciate the support. It's it's awesome that you've been around uh, for all this time, and we're we're just going to keep it going. It's a party, and it don't stop. And this is going to be a nice, nice thing to celebrate, bro. I can't wait. I can't wait for this watch party. I'm giddy about it. Uh, it's, a, it's a good time. It's a good time to be a nerd. Darth Johnny, welcome to the Nerd Avengers. You are. A nerd venture now. Make your way around the tower. Feel the power within you. Feel it. Give me looking like that uh that blue uh, profile picture, dude, from last night. Matthew Griffith says, "Where do you see Omega's character ending up?" It's hard to say, man. Uh, we I, I don't have a lot of context to to make a to make a prediction like that, but uh, I like Omega. As a character, I wouldn't mind her showing up in a show like this. I just think it's a little out of place, right? Like, doesn't it seem like it would be a little out of place if she just popped up in this show? I don't know. Dark Dragon with a $5 house says, Yo, Josh, can't wait for the finale. Not exactly looking forward to the six weeks of not much content, but hopefully the trailers will make up for it. It's true. It's true. We'll go into a little bit of a hiatus here. But next month, we've got the Batman, which you guys all seem to be excited about. And I'm sure it'll be fun because I'll watch it and I'll be like, ah, okay, it was really, really good. And then all of you guys will be like, I told you so, Josh. I fucking told you so. You know, so that'll be fun. Also, at the end of next month, I believe we have Moon Knight. So, yeah, it'll be, you know, we'll get a little six week break. I'm going to try to work on like some theory stuff. Uh, you know, definitely speculating about Multiverse of Madness and stuff like that. So we'll survive. We will survive. Nerd Talk. Uh, Nerd Talk News 2. 
Very interesting. Member for 13 months says, Member for 13 months, Han Solo tonight, no doubt. Ooh, I like that. I mean, that's that's confident. I'm, I'm hoping you're right. I'm hoping you're right, man. <laughs> Lars said, Did you get enough sleep, Josh? Absolutely not. Um, I was... I had I, t I got in the Iron Nerd suit today, and I said, just take me to the tower, and then I passed out. Like, you know, for real, for real. So, no. But, hey, man, I, I love what I do, man. That last night's stream was hilarious. It was amazing, and it, it flew by for me. I was like, oh, man, this is crazy. But uh, I'm very happy to be doing this and to be making this content and having this kind of fun. And, yeah, like, sometimes it's work, and sometimes it's, you, you know little draining but i mean come on come on we're having fun here you know kendall says with a ten dollar holla to me there has only been one cameo in book of boba fett that is ahsoka interesting i feel like it has been more continuity than cameos but a lot don't recognize the difference han equal cameo bane equal continuity your take i certainly i certainly know where you're coming from and i agree that like for instance like luke being around at this time it just totally makes sense right uh you know I think there are a lot of characters that you would just normally see here. And this cameo word is so interesting because it is used in almost a derogatory or negative way. And same thing with fan service, right? But I think, like, if you think about it, BK makes sense. The Huts make sense. But going from episode one into episode two, Kersantan was the thing we talked about. And so in that sense, we think of it as a cameo... But I do agree a lot of that's just verbiage. It's just, it's like, it's just sort of the, the zeitgeist. It's the, it's the lexicon. It's what people say. Uh, but I definitely know what you're saying. And that is that a lot of this stuff just feels right. And it would, it would normally happen. Ahsoka being there, a little wild. I agree. If uh, Han shows up, it's going to be wild. Bane continuity? Sure. But I still think you could make the argument that him showing up the way that he did could fall under this like category of cameo. Um, I don't consider it to be negative in the least. But um, if you did, certainly that distinction is merited. So, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. And also, sorry, my brain is mashed potatoes right now. So hope that made sense. Moosh, member for 12 months, says, hey, Josh, keep up the great work. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate all the support and uh, I'm going to keep on trying. Fifi, $10 Hollis says, morning, Nerdvengers family. Just saw a clip of you and Star Wars Theory laughing about a profile picture. LOL, so wholesome, it made my morning better. Yeah, it's one of the best clips ever. It is so funny. I can't watch it. I wanted to watch it on stream. I literally can't watch it because I'll start laughing so hard that I'll, I'm going to cry. Like, tears will be coming out of me. I'll just be geeking out. So, yeah, it's very, very funny. Um, I appreciate you, Fifi. Thank you for the support. Shiloh says, member for 10 months. Nice. Says, I can attest to the fact that my KD did, in fact, rise from a 0.2 to a 0.25 just by being a nerd venture. There you have it. There you freaking have it. Austin Boyd says, did you see the new art for Star Wars in Disney Plus? They Did they make another Star Wars logo and a new photo from the Falcon? I did not, actually. Maybe I should check that out, huh? Let me see. That's kind of interesting. Um, logo looks the same to me. It's called the Falcon. I, I don't know, man. I, I, I mean, I, I get what you're saying there. I don't know if it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Stormy says with a five dollar holler, enjoying a nerdy birthday today. My brother gifted me a Mando, Boba, and Bo Katan Funko Pops, and I'm super happy with them. So hyped for the book of Boba Fett finale. Can we please get some happy birthdays in the chat for Nerd Venger Stormy, OG supporter of the channel? I hope you're having a good birthday, brother. Enjoy yourself. Uh, enjoy those Funko Pops. That sounds like a super fun gift and a good brother. Um, so yeah, and I can't wait for this finale as well, man. It's gonna be super hyped up. It's gonna be super hyped up. Happy birthday! Apar says, "Fun fact: the guy in the profile picture last night is a Nerdvenger member. That's the result of being." <laughs> 
So join now. Take my money. Indeed, man. Indeed. Oh, wow. Yeah. So if you want uh, if you want growth in certain places, uh, become an adventure. The stereotypical stereotype show with a $5 holler says, Someone should do a parody video of Cad B coming from the desert in the distance. But when he gets to Van, they reveal it's Jar Jar Binks. Stay cool. Thank you. I like that, actually. That'd be funny. Uh, some word I can't pronounce. Music says Grief Karga. Mandalorians appear. Fett and Bane die? Now, wait just a gosh dang minute here. Fett and Bane die? Uh, no, thanks. No, thank you. Grief Karga, Mandalorians. That's cool. I don't know about that, man. Fifi says for the $10, listen, everyone, we all remember Mephisto. For that reason, I don't think Boba Fett will be making a cameo in this episode. Nice. Uh, wouldn't that be ridiculous? Oh, man. That would be ridiculous if he's not in it. Like, come on now. Nah, you're, uh, don't play with me like that. Moss Moss, remember for 11 months. Hey, there there she is. Says, Dune deserves all its flowers. Also, Boba Fett. Hype! I want Grogu and Chainmail with the lightsaber and Dune to win all the awards. Does dance to the nerd gods. Nice. I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, it does. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. I can I can agree with you on that one. And I appreciate the support. Alec Ortega, member for mine not uh five months, but you didn't put a message in. Appreciate the support though. Uh Nate Starkiller says with ten dollar holla, all Disney talk about equality, but they have committed the worst bigotry imaginable. We have had zero Gungan representation in current Star Wars. Hmm. This cannot stand. Hashtag justice for Jar Jar. Hashtag stop Gungan hate. I would have uh I would have loved to see some Gungan love in some of this stuff for sure. And maybe they'll end up going to Naboo. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, you know, you've you you raised an important point here, Nate. And uh This aggression shall not stand, man. J uh, Josh, I have 1K on Vivi. Should I, what should I invest it in? More Vivi. That's my opinion. Uh, hashtag not financial advice. But, uh, dude, if you think Vivi's doing well right now, just wait. Keaton House, member for 15 months, says, I watched Nerd Theory later, and the Luke Soka shirt reveal was great. I loved Theory's reaction. Take my member chat yeah keaton for sure man it was it was a very fun stream a very fun evening and that moment was really fun uh and you can literally buy that shirt if you want to trigger uh theory and support me a little bit you could check that shirt out brando commando what a cool name and is that a shiba in your profile picture says do you think there's a chance rex or the bad batch could be in mando season three tamara morrison is old but it'd be cool seeing them all retake mandalore i think you could see that I think they're actually more likely in Kenobi and Ahsoka. But I think as we're all starting to realize, a lot of this stuff is all kind of connected. You know, like those people, the, the shot of the te uh, the temple. You're telling me you don't think that design and those suits and, and that's, that that's not going to be in Kenobi? I think it will be. Thank you for the love. TJ says, I think Sidious took Grogu from the temple. You can see that he was at the temple in Revenge of the Sith when Obi-Wan watches the security footage. Bro, I feel the same way. OK Audio, member of 16 months, says, Josh, do you think we'll ever see how Luke and Ahsoka met? Did they bang? Uh, I think they did, and I think they will again. In the intro of this finale, I think it'll start with a sultry luke Soka scene. Um, and will we ever see how they met? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to answer that one, you know? I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be so bold. Uh, Chase, member for 11 months, says, Yo, Josh, my sister swears that the Pike survived Cobb and left the spice was Cad Bane. Has a close voice, I'll admit it if you listen. I don't know, Cad would go undercover, though. Tell my sister she's wrong. Uh, look, sis, sis, that's, that's a cool idea, but... Wrong! Cad Bane wouldn't do that. Listen to your brother more, you know? Sheesh. Uh, why can't I not? Okay, so I can't get to... Uh, what the buttholes? Let me see if I can get this over here. Uh, 
How come I can't get to this message? Okay, Louis says, have you heard any rumors on Doctor Strange post credit scenes? S sort of. Nothing that I can comment on as of yet. Uh, Jedi Slayer. Yeah, I just don't even want to guess yet because I... I don't know, and I don't want to get people too hyped up. I mean, I know you guys probably think like, "What are you talking about, bro?" That's all you do. But uh, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to say anything yet. So we'll we'll see. Uh, Jedi Slayer says Boba gets thrown into another Sarlacc pit by Han. Amazing, amazing. I think it would be perfect if that happened. I I give it a very small percent chance, but. I mean, it is like poetry. It is like poetry, you know. It rhymes. Droon111 says, Which Jedi would you be? Dark, gray, or light? Uh, probably light. You know, as much as I like to fool around, uh, I generally speaking do just want to be, like, nice and, and loving and positive and light side. And I want to be a Jedi. So probably that, you know. Like, I once played... Uh, well, I played The Old Republic, right? And I wanted to be a Sith. I was like, yo, this is so cool. Red lightsaber, let's go dark side, right? And I played it for a while. I think I got it to like level 20. And I literally started over just because I was like, man, this doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like me. You know, as much as I as much as much I think it's fun in a small stint, it doesn't represent how I feel on the inside. You know? So I'd probably be a Jedi because I'm, I'm nice. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see here. Luke Harmon says, I appreciate your thoughts about training Grogu. Jedi may have had flaws, but there was a reason for their dogma. Denying self is part of serving the light. Yep, I can understand that. I can understand that. I just think that Grogu deserves a choice. You know what I mean? That's all. So, guys, we, I'm going to hang for like 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes, and I'm getting on out of here. And then that uh, video will drop probably close to one, our preview video. Please go over there and watch it. I mean, I think I think Fernie killed it with this edit. And I'll actually tease out a little bit of it right now for you. Star Wars fan? I will, I will, I will. I'll just tease a little bit of this out for you guys. Give me one second here. Pause that. And just check this out, man. I just think this is such a fun edit. It's time. <laughs> the finale of The Book of Boba Fett is almost here. It's time to preview what we expect to happen in episode 7 of the book of Boba Fett and yeah man we think this is gonna be like a royal rumble in Mos Espa. I am Boba Fett. Dartooine belongs to the syndicate. I am Daimyo here. This is a moment! Let's break it down. <laughs> you see what I mean? What's up, everybody? It's Josh coming at you from Nerd Ventures Tower. As per usual, smash a like on this. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. You, you'll like it. I think, he, I think he did some great stuff with that edit, so it'll be really funny. What is on your mind? Let's hang for like 10 more minutes. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah, we're turn we're turning it up, baby. We're turning it up. A lot of oh man, it's just been so nice. Like a lot of people are like reaching out, like helping us out. Adam uh helped us out and uh I can tease this out a little bit for you guys too. The nerd mobile? The nerd mobile is uh getting a little bit of uh a facelift. Let me show you guys this. Whoo! Yep. A little bit of a facelift. And I can't wait to get it on the road, man, and hear this thing purr and 
It's going to be great. So, a lot of fun stuff. A lot of fun stuff happening for the Nerdvengers! Oh, I am tired AF, though. I am, I am, I am. Peter Austin says, do you think Cobb Vanth gets revenge against Bane? Um, I don't know. That would be cool, but I think Boba's got to be the one to get that kill. Although I love Cobb, and I hope Cobb gets uh, gets some shine in this episode for sure. Droon says, not sure if you have read Thrawn Ascendancy or not, but do you believe Thrawn is evil or just looking, riding the Empire's wave to save his people? I tend to believe this, the latter. I don't think he's evil, but I think that in some ways, people like Thrawn are more dangerous than people like Palpatine. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Because he will intellectualize why it is better with his iron fist. And he could actually convince some people. Luckily, he's not that good at politics, so he would need some help from that perspective. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Son Goku says, Mace, Windu, end credit scene, Boba wants revenge season two. Bro, I'd be so into that. I don't see it happening, but I would be so here for it, man. X-Men 97 is 10 episodes, John Parker says. That's true. I saw that. And I think, yo, again, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus. I'm not trying to get anybody mad or upset or anything like that. But like Illuminati did an article where they said, we think this theory could be true that uh boba or that uh boba that the fuck am i even uh, brain words what was i even just saying oh yeah that the x-men 97 show will be that'll be the charles you see in uh multiverse of madness and i cannot decide whether they are actually theorizing that or if they know for a fact that's what they're doing and they're saying it's a theory to not get uh sniped out by kevin feige okay and again i'm not trying to start nothing i'm not trying to i'm not i'm not trying to do that i'm just i'm just trying to have a good time you know i'm just trying to have a good time but i think that's absolutely possible and i think uh i think that would be cool man I mean, Marvel's got a ton of fire stuff coming out, too. It's just, it's just kind of crazy. Like, the Super Bowl stream, I think, will be really fun. And I'm hoping we get a ton of fun spots and a fun ton on, uh, little teasers and trailers. But either way, we'll have a good time, as we always do. Just hanging out at the tower. I'm going to eat a bunch of chicken wings. It's going to be uh, ASMR. Chicken wing ASMR. And you know what I th should do? I should get one of those ears. One of those, like, ears... You know, that, that all the, the Twitch streamers, like, suck on succulently and say that it's content. I should get one of those ear microphones and get the chicken wings and be like. Like, right, and just, and like, just take the, the chicken wing all over the ear and just like, oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah. Get the sauce in the crevice. Get the sauce in the crevice. Oh. You know? Stormy says, for a $5 holo, the first contender coming from Camino, son of Django Fett. He weighs 320 pounds. He is the Chad and Hella Man, the one, the only Bobo Quote of the day. Quote of the day. Well done, Stormy. Well done. You're going to gain the weirdest kinds of nerd ventures. Oh, can't wait. We'll make a special wing in the tower where they can all be isolated from the rest of us. Josh needs a nap. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed, I do, for sure. Just wait. People are expecting a happy ending. Oh, man. You talking about the ASMR or what? You never see how he gets that. That's true. 
I was kind of addicted to WWE back in the day. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It's awesome. I was watching before the old Rony Rona ruined fucking everything. Uh, I was watching at least once a month amateur wrestling matches in my hometown. I would drive up from Pittsburgh. I would hang out with my buddies. We'd have a couple burrs. We'd go watch the rest, the wrestling matches. And I tell you, that shit is fun. It's a fun experience. I can't play the clip, bro. I will laugh. I will uh, I will laugh so hard that I will cry. Live chat Josh is so much different than video Josh. Yeah, we're working on that. I know I'm a little too tightened up in the video. So we're working on that. I think this video is a good one, though. We had a lot of fun with this one. It's just that I want to be professional in my videos. I want to be professional. Who's my favorite? I liked uh, Goldberg. I liked The Rock, obviously. I liked Kane, The Undertaker. Matt Hardy. <laughs> Go, Matt Hardy. You know. Fun Josh, greater than Professor Josh. Easy. Well, but yeah, but the thing is, I went to film school. Okay? So, gotta let them know. You know what I mean? Goldberg is back? No way. No way. Cincinnati needs a Super Bowl win. Last time they got there was in the 90s. Yeah, I agree, man. Let's go. Let's go. Cincy. All right, new poll. New poll. New poll. We'll get out of here. Who you got? The freaking butthole Rams. <laughs> Cincy. Boom. Why does Josh need to rewatch Solo? Because they want to trigger me, Jansen. They want to watch me squirm like I did with uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Joe Burrow. Yeah, he's a cool dude, man. He's got swag. I was always a big Kevin Nash fan. Nice. Stafford needs a ring. Come on. He's, I mean, he's, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Josh, do you think Filoni might actually grow some balls and kill off some characters from the Clone Wars? I don't know. I, I I honestly don't think so. You know what I mean? And I don't think, like, I don't think that's something George really likes to do either. Like, don't kill the characters off. Even though, yes, he did kill some off. But yeah, yeah. Yo, we got any uh, Magic: The Gathering players in the chat? Because, oh, man, I can't wait. I can't wait, dude. Kamigawa. Neon Dynasty. Mechs. Cyberpunk meets Samurai. So cool. So cool, man. Y'all going to a pre-release this weekend? I'm going to one Friday night. I'm going to one Sunday afternoon. And then I'm playing Commander all day with my homies. Bunch of Pokemon cards, though. That's cool. I like Pokemon. No MTG players here. We are men. Brian, you'd love it. Brian, you'd love it, bruh. It's fun. It's got a collectible element. Uh, building your own deck, kind of you can do whatever you want, pick a certain theme or pick something you want to try to accomplish and build a deck around it. Um, and the shit talking is great with your with the with your friends. So there's a spell in the game called a counter spell. OK, and it's basically like your opponent casts something and then you get to say, uh, uh not this time. And it's the saltiest most fun way to trigger your friends and ruin relationships. And I say that as a person that literally was so triggered by a buddy of mine countering one of my spells that I left a game this very weekend. I handled it like a true adult would. And I said, screw you guys. I'm going home. So just, just, just as an example, you know, 
of, of the fun you can have in Magic the Gathering. Uh, Sheev the Wise says, Joe Burrow is a Star Wars fan and a GOAT. He made Tom Brady retire. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Bangles for the win. L-M-A-O. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't he like the prequels and stuff, too? What's my favorite magic deck? I don't know. I, I have a Urza. That's one of my favorite commander decks. Urza, High Lord Artificer. Y'all know this card if you're a magic player. Y'all know this card. Whoo! And oh, baby, did my Urza pop off last week. Oh, baby. Uh, the Notorious BFG said Bengals going to end up like Sheev's fantasy team. I don't know. I don't, hey, talking crap over here. I want to play X-Wing miniatures again. Dude, Brian, X-Wing was incredible. I played a ton of that, man. And I played it. Uh, the, the South Jersey Philly area had, had so many good players. It was so fun. I loved it. And Poe Dameron, when the TFA first came out, they made a Poe Dameron pilot for a T-70 X-Wing. Bruh. He was broken. He was absolutely broken, and it was awesome. How do I start to get into Magic? I'd watch some YouTube videos, actually. So, Elisa likes Magic, and she plays Magic, and she really enjoys the game. Um, and we watched a lot of, like... Uh, command zone and other you know stuff like that and it helped her understand the flow of the game there's a version of the game called magic the gathering arena which is on mobile devices and for pc it's very fun you can build a collection on there so i'd say one of those get into magic by buying a psa 10 black lotus yes and then give it to me give it to me give it to me my friend on a snow day in 1995 taught me and another friend MTG Fallen Empires was recent set. Wow, that's awesome. I was also introduced it to or introduced to Magic in high school for sure. It's really fun. Yeah, yeah. I want an MTG RPG already. They kind of do have that. There's a crossover between Magic the Gathering and uh Adventure of the Forgotten Realms. Um I think Ravnica is one of them. And such things. I'm actually going to change the music. Because I love this music and I will put it on the watch party. But we get copy struck for it every single time. Every single time. Alright everybody. I got to get on out of here. I got to go get some foods. And uh, again the most important thing. You know if we've learned anything. From our time together today. It is of course. That you need to go to the Den of Nerds merch dot com and get yourself a luke soka shirt triggering star wars theory since 2022 it's a goof it's fun it's parody pick one up wear it the next time you see theory out and about and take a picture and send it to me i think it would be hilarious we are going to get on out of here again our preview video should be dropping close to 1 p.m and and a watch party that is sure to be one for the history books will be taking place tomorrow, 2.30 in the morning, 2.45 in the morning is when we'll get that going on. I'm quite excited. I think it's going to be epic. We might have some mind-blowing stuff to talk about. So if you are going to stay awake for the uh, show, and by the way, if you are going to stay up for the watch party, uh, put it one in the chat. I'm, I'm curious. I know a lot of you guys watch Theory. I know a lot of you guys like try to watch me and Theory. Uh, and a lot of you just, you don't want to, you know, it's like too, no, it's too, it's too early or late. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck, dude? Ugh. Why can't we get the music, Chet? I don't understand, Chet. We had it working all stream, Chet. You freaking butthole, Chet. Okay, as I always say, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day. And I'll see you 
in the next video. Is everybody gone? Did everybody leave, leave, leave? Man, I don't know if you guys could tell. Oh, thank you, Star Wars Obsession. I see that, man. Appreciate that. I don't know if you, hey, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I was tired AF, and uh, my brain wasn't firing on all cylinders. You know, I think we did our best, but holy shit! Got to get rested up. Got to get rested up. <laughs> so that we can be ready for this uh, watch party. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be really awesome. It's pretty split on this uh, Super Bowl thing, huh? All right, guys. Hey. Much love to you all. So cool to be doing this. Going through these experiences with you guys. Much love. Uh, see you soon, okay? Take care.